itself? And the fight itself, um, you know, uh, he, was, he was definitely a lot more agile. I thought he was gonna plot, come forward a little bit more. He was actually a little bit, a little bit lighter on his feet. But um, it was one of those things, you know, um, tried to work the body, but like I said, he was being very evasive. But uh, in this fight, I knew I, you know, the, the little bit that I know about him, I know he cuts a lot of weight. I know what it is. I know what it's like to cut that much weight, and I know what it's like to have somebody on you constantly clinching, and it's, it's tiring as hell. So it was one of those things, even after the first round, persevere and just press, grind, 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 eventually tire him out. Um, he was definitely strong on my uh, first takedown attempts, but I could hear him grunting. He was putting a lot into staying on his feet, so I knew that eventually, if I just baited, he, he would eventually tire out, and I'd eventually get him down, and that's what happened. I know you take a lot of pride in you know, being excited and finishing fights and stuff, mm -hmm. but it sounded like you were trying to almost prove something to yourself in a way by you mentioned the word grinding, grinding, grinding. Yeah. Like why yeah. was that important to you? Because everybody, everybody you know, that knows me in my, my WEC UFC career, especially because you know, coming out of Rufus Sport, they think I'm a striker. And it, they look at my losses and they think my weakness is my ground. Most of my wins are from you know, fighting on the ground, taking them down, cementing them off, their back, off, off my back. Um, I'm well-rounded. You know, that's, uh, and that's one of the things, my last couple fights, I feel like my ground suffered because I just cut too much weight. My, my, my muscles weren't there, my energy wasn't there, I didn't have any pop. So I, I wanted to show, you know, even with the big boys, you know, I can compete. I train with all these monsters, you know. I train with people that fight at 170 and, and, and 180. I was even, I was uh, doing an interview earlier and I, we would joke about it because when me and Anthony started in the WEC, I walked around heavier than Anthony did. And he fought a weight class heavier than me, you know what I'm saying? So like, uh, it's, it's one of those things that I feel like it's just um, trials and tribulations. I feel like my career is just kind of, I, 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 was, I was so tough mentally that it's not about can you make the weight, it's should you make the weight, you know? And I feel like at this point, I'm, you know, I'm older, I'm more mature, I, I know my body. And I'm not, not trying to win a bodybuilding contest, I'm trying to win fights, you know? What, what do you make of this surge in lightweights coming up to 170? I mean, you, Anthony Pettis, Michael Chiesa, James you, Vick said he's now going to 170. And, well, I'll tell you this, Anthony beat me to it. It was my idea first. I don't care. And he'll tell you, it was my idea first because I, I remember I told Duke, I'm like, Duke, I'm, I think I want to move up 70. He's like, are you sure? Those guys are, they're bigger. I'm like, yeah, but I also, I train with all these guys. They, I don't train with really any 55ers. Everybody we train with, the only 55er I really trained with at Rufus Sport was Anthony. But is he really a 55er? No, now he's fighting at 70, you know? So um, I think it's good. I think it's great for the sport because I think cutting weight's dangerous. I mean, I've been there. I, I used to cut... Um, 45, I used to cut from 185, sometimes 190, down to 145. Another problem that, you know, I, I said late, the, later on in my career, fighting at 70, I want to Donald Cerrone this. What I mean by that is I, if UFC called me up two weeks, be like, yep, I want to take it. I want that, you know. At 45, I need like three months, okay. We gotta, we gotta get my weight down this much, you know? It's, it, like I said, I'm not trying to win bodybuilding competitions. I wanna be able to fight, I wanna stay healthy, I wanna stay active. So I, I think it's awesome that uh, everybody is kind of getting the gist and everybody is, you know, moving up to more of a healthy weight class. I think it's just better for the sport. So is staying active just the goal for the rest of the year now? Staying active, that's all I wanna do. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sick of the layoffs. Yeah, I mean, you guys know. I mean, we talk about, you know, I was supposed to fight Jose Aldo here, you know, way back in the day. 45. When I was fighting at 45, I either need three or four months just to prepare my weight. And I had to be lucky to not get injured because my body got so brittle that I'm tearing my knees, I'm breaking my hand. So um, that's that for me right now, it's just stay active. That's, that's what I want. How about how great it feels personally to go up to Walter Ray that's what your dad always wanted you to, yeah. do, to get this great weight? Greatest, greatest feeling. You're going to make me tear up. Greatest feeling in the world. Um, I'm sorry, so, so sorry. Um, it's one of those things that it was, it was unexpected. He was super healthy. Uh, he would joke with me all the time, you know, walking around 195 sometimes. He'd be like, man, you're, you're going to finish your, your career at 185. You know, I know that's craziness. But, you know, he, he always thought that I should move up in weight class. And uh, for me to come in and, and win, grind, not only that, you know, have my brother, um, my, uh, my other corner, Brent Stepanek, uh, he was actually there before I was when my dad passed. He was there for my mom. So close-knit family, man. This is, this is important for all of us, and I know it's important for my mom, too. Speaking of staying active, I mean, now you're in a new weight class. You've got a whole new field of potential opponents. Is there anything mm -hmm. that stands out to you? Nah, just whatever. Short notes, I don't care. <laughs>
How much? <laughs> just, just fights, fights, fights. How much weight did you actually cut for this? Now, honestly, so I got here. What, what did we weigh into our Wednesday? 176. 176. So this might be a weird question, but did you feel like a welterweight or just a 155er that didn't cut weight? Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. It's a good question because I think you're going to start seeing more 155ers that just don't cut weight. Right. I, 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 you know, like I said, being on both ends of the spectrum, man, there is no, they, no, we're always confident going in to a fight, but probably the one doubt you have in your mind is when your legs feel heavy and arms feel heavy. And I, like, I was kind of joking, you know, um, my last fight, I weighed in 155. It was at 55. I, the next day, the, now that they weigh us, the day when we get here, I was 185. I gained 30 pounds. That's not functional weight. That's not muscle. That's all water. So it's almost like I'm filling my legs full of water. And you can notice my last two fights, first round's great. After that, I'm like, okay, legs, let's start <laughs> moving. You know, I'm stuck in the mud. So um, I think, you know, I'd, I'd say morally at 55 or at 70, but I think, that, I think that's going to change. I think you're going to see more people doing that. You're going to see more 70 years going up to 85. But you had any questions about the uh, power of that right hand in the second, that kind of answer for it? I'll, I'll tell you this. Um, and no, no, no slight to him. It was a good right hand. Didn't hurt me. Like, and it, that's the thing. Um, 55, 45. When we're taking this water out of our organs, out of our brain, I get hit with shots and fights by smaller dudes and be like, why did that? I got a little fuzzy. Why did that hurt? I felt great. I felt like my ability to take punches was a lot better. So I, I think it, you know, the, the, I, the guys are going to hit harder. You know, you got your Tyrone Woodleys, you know, and stuff like that. They hit like trucks. But um, I also want to be able to take a shot. I don't want to deplete my brain, you know? So you, you, fought the same weight, you basically fought the same weight as if you were cutting 55, right, tonight? Pretty much. I mean, pretty, oh, but the, the only thing is also through training camp to keep healthy, I'm able to eat more calories. I'm able to output more in training. You know what I'm saying? When I would fight at 45, Duke would always joke with me because he's like, your mind, your mind is there until about two weeks before the fight. And then like, my mind's gone. And it's because I'm not thinking about hitting the pads. I'm thinking, I'm starving to death. You know, I'm thinking about getting some food in my stomach. So um, like I said, it's just, it's not healthy. It's not healthy to cut weight. And I think it's super overrated. And uh, you know, I think Anthony proved that too with his win over Wonder Boy. Everybody's like, oh, Wonder Boy's way too big. Everybody keeps saying these guys are too big and I, I still keep seeing 55ers, you know, tearing it up. What was the inspiration between dropping New Breed and going with Phoenix? I just want to reinvent myself. You know, I, I've always been a grinder. I've always been someone that doesn't quit. I don't have quit in me. And it was just one of those things also, uh, <laughs> I mean, it goes back to it, my, my uh, coach Kush, uh, my boxing coach at Rufus Sport, he was always like, what happens when you get older? Are you really the new breed? You know, are you really the new breed? And I was like, I was like, okay, that makes sense. So I was like, you know, I just wanted to reinvent myself. And uh, you know, that's, that's how I feel like. Even coming off two losses, that didn't discourage me. I came right back, man. I'm born again every single day. Right. Awesome, thanks guys. I appreciate it.